In this video, we will look at the clinical features of rabies virus. Okay, so till now what we have seen, we just saw the introduction to rabies virus, uh, the morphology, the bullet shaped. It's an RNA virus, single stranded. It has negative sense RNA. <clears throat> the morphology we saw it has uh, two important antigens, glycoprotein G and nucleoprotein. Glycoprotein G is very pathogenic and uh, it is also used in diagnosis and uh, vaccination. Animal susceptibility usually fox, cats, dogs, all these. There is something called a street virus which is freshly isolated which is pathogenic. Fixed virus is from uh, serial passage from brain to brain in rabbits in cell lines etc. And it is not pathogenic. It is used to prepare vaccine. Its incubation period <clears throat> is 4 to 6 days. Then we looked at the pathogenesis. Pathogenesis, this diagram was explained. Basically, we saw the dog bite, infected dog bite, uh, local site, there will be virus multiplication. Then from the uh, neuromuscular junction, the nicotinic acetylcholine receptor is to which the virus binds and it goes in retrograde spread, centripetal fashion. It spreads along the motor nerve and reaches the dorsal root ganglion in the spinal cord. It's, it ascends via the spinal cord, reaches the central nerve, uh, in, reaches the brain, affects the cerebellum and the hippocampus, especially the Purkinje fibers of cerebellum, Purkinje cells of cerebellum and the, uh, the uh, what cells in hippocampus? Hold on, some cells in hippocampus, yes, pyramidal neurons in hippocampus, they get, uh, there you can see these negri bodies. Then what happens from the brain, that is from the central nervous system, it starts spreading periphery again, that is the centrifugal spread. So it uh, spreads to salivary glands, the skin via sensory nerves, then cornea, other organs, the retina, pancreas, heart, kidney. Okay, so that is what you have to draw this exam uh, diagram in the exam and explain. Now coming to the basics, um, basically viruses shed in the human, uh, infected human saliva, but human to human transmission is not confirmed. Okay. Brain. Now what happens in the brain? There is mononuclear cell infiltration, lot of macrophages that is perivascular cuffing of lymphocytes. So all the lymphocytes will become in the periphery of the blood vessels. Babes nodules. <clears throat> Babes nodules consisting of glial cells, negri bodies very very important. Now negri bodies they are in the brain neurons. In the neurons the intracytoplasmic eosinophilic esin inclusions these are. Okay, eosinophilic inclusions these are so let's make negri bodies as a pink color okay negri bodies so what exactly are these negri bodies they are viral proteins and rna that rabies viral protein the rabies viral rna okay so this you cannot diag use for diagnosis only in post post-mortem uh, cases they can diagnose rabies by looking at these negri bodies right perkinje cells of cerebellum where and all you will find Purkinje cells of cerebellum, you will find these negri bodies. Pyramidal neurons of hippocampus also, you will find the negri bodies. Less frequently, you can find it in the cortex and the brainstem neurons. So, till here we have done in the previous video. Now, we will start off with the clinical features, okay. Now, the clinical features first look at the incubation period here. So, incubation period can be anywhere between 20 to 90 days, okay. So, it is shorter incubation period in children bite to head neck upper limb so it's closer to central nervous system right so obviously the incubation period will be less in short people severe lacerations basically there is severe bite right severe lacerations then presence of genetic predisposition this also is genetic some people will get shorter incubation period low host immunity obviously low host immunity so in all these cases there will be shorter incubation period <coughs> also if the virus inoculation is high high viral inoculation dose right if the inoculation itself is in a high dose then what you can do there will be shorter incubation period right we are done with the short incubation period now we move on to short prodromal phase what is this this is some 2 to 10 days it will be there. Okay. It is characterized by non-specific symptoms like fever, malaise, anorexia, nausea, vomiting, photophobia, sore throat, abnormal sensation like paresthesia, pain, 
pruritis around the wound site poor person he'll have fever malaise anorexia all those way nausea vomiting photophobia sore throat abnormal sensation around the wound site what is a clue here for you photophobia photophobia is an important thing then everything else is very normal normal right now let us move on to acute neurologic phase so the brain is affected now so there is a neurologic phase this may either uh, be encephalitic type or paralytic type okay so this can be encephalitic type that is 80% very common or paralytic type that is 20% easy no now <clears throat> encephalitic rabies here what happens there is hyper excitability hyper excitability so hyper excitability means the person is excited at everything he has anxiety agitation hyperactivity bizarre behavior hallucinations poor person it lasts for 2 to 7 days okay hyper excitability lu that where where he has what anxiety agitation hyperactivity bizarre behavior hallucinations okay coming to lucid interval lucid interval means something good only right lucid interval let's look at this lucid interval guys we are looking at what now are you awake we are looking at the clinical features of rabies virus we have finished the short uh, incubation period short prodromal phase we have finished now we are looking at the acute neurologic phase in which we are looking at the encephalitic rabies okay 2 to 7 days it will last now here we are done with hyper excitability where the person is anxious he has uh, hyper activity uh, uh, bizarre behavior hallucinations agitation anxiety etc now we are moving on to lucid interval <clears throat> this period of uh, hyper excitability is typically followed by complete lucidity that becomes shorter as the disease progresses so lucid means he is fine it's a san he is sane in this place but in this he is insane right or you can say sane sanity sane period in between periods of insanity right but here it may periods of hyper excitability i think okay oh, so that but this lucid interval night goes on decreasing the duration goes on decreasing between uh, as the disease progresses so it's very important to know don't focus on the lucid interval and think that this person has become fine okay the hyper excitability phase uh, will come back after the lucid interval now coming to autonomic sympathetic dysfunction features uh, what you see here are uh, sympathetic dysfunction autonomic there's increased lacrimation increased salivation foaming in the mouth perspiration goose flesh cardiac arrhythmia and uh, priapism priapism what is that guys priapism means persistent and painful erection of the penis strange so their penis is erect reminds you of any dog so in the encephalitic rabies we have finished these three the last point is hydrophobia fear of water okay fear of water is the next point here now hydrophobia or aerophobia fear of air so they have fear of water fear of air the act of swallowing precipitates an involuntary painful spasm of the respiratory laryngeal and pharyngeal muscles these symptoms are probably due to dysfunction of infected brain stem neurons so what will happen fear of water fear of air also my god fear of air so basically when the person swallows swallowing so swallowing will precipitate involuntary painful spasm involuntary painful spasm 
of the respiratory laryngeal and pharyngeal muscles. Okay. Let's make some space here. <clears throat> of what? So, okay, we are here. Hydrophobia, fear of water, fear of air, swallowing precipitates, involuntary painful spasm of respiratory, laryngeal and pharyngeal muscles due to dysfunction of infected brainstem neurons. Let's touch your throat. Touch it and say now rabies, swallowing, painful spasm. That's why that person has fear of water, fear of air. Okay, I think he's thinking about swallowing air also. Okay, then we are going to paralytic uh, or dumb rabies. Okay. Let's move on to paralytic or dumb rabies. Now in paralytic or dumb rabies, what happens? So this is the acute neurologic phase that only we are there. In that, you know, mostly it will be the encephalitic type or it can be paralytic type, correct? So we have finished the encephalitic type. Now we are looking at the paralytic of the dumb rabies. Now this occurs in 20% of cases, especially in people who are partially vaccinated or infected with bat rabies virus. It is characterized by flaccid paralysis, often begins in the bitten limb and progressing to quadriparesis with facial paralysis. However, hydrophobia and other features of encephalitic rabies are typically absent. So here, flaccid paralysis at uh, the bitten limb okay then it progresses to it progresses to quadriparesis so all the four limbs quadriparesis facial paralysis okay this usually happens if the person was partially vaccinated so you should fully take vaccination guys if dog bites okay partially vaccinated or bat rabies virus okay so in these cases there can be paralytic or dumb rabies the flaccid paralysis in the bitten limb and quadriparesis facial paralysis okay so we are done with the uh, acute neuro neurologic phase of in the clinical uh, features of rabies virus so to, till now what we have seen just uh, let's take a recap <clears throat> do you want to take a deep breath and continue Good. So, in the clinical features, we finished incubation period, short prodromal phase, then acute neurologic phase in which we finished encephalitic rabies, in which there is hyper excitability, excitability lucid interval, autonomic, autonomic sympathetic dysfunction, then hydrophobia, right? Then we saw the paralytic or dumb rabies. Again, under the acute neurologic phase where there is flaccid paralysis at the bitten lip, quadriparesis and facial paralysis. Okay. Last, we are going to coma and death. Now, we will go to coma and death. See, following acute neurologic phase, patient develops coma that eventually leads to death within 14 days. See, the problem with rabies infection is it is fatal. So, as soon as a dog bites, you should take vaccination. So, you prevent the infection. Once infected, then usually it is fatal. Okay. So, after this uh, acute neurologic phase, within 14 days, uh, sorry, the patient develops coma and eventually leads to death within 14 days. Coma for 14 days, after that there will be death. Patients with paralytic rabies may survive longer up to 30 days. Okay. If he is having encephalitic type, then coma for 14 days, then death. If he has paralytic type of rabies, then he may survive for 30 days. But I am guessing in coma, right? But they didn't write. Okay. Recovery and survival are extremely rare. So that is what we have learnt about the clinical features of rabies virus in this video. Let's move to the next video where we will look at the lab diagnosis. No need to overload your brain now. Take some rest. Come back for the lab diagnosis okay, of rabies virus. That's important for exam. Everything in rabies virus is important for exam, right? So next video, we will look at the rabies virus 
lab diagnosis half you already know negri bodies you know antigen you know we already saw in the antigen itself they there only they told of right glycoprotein and all that wait this one diagnostic role of glycoprotein g in heme agglutination inhibition test nucleoprotein complement fixation test antibody detection antigen detection direct immunofluorescence test everything we already know negri bodies also but lot lots more is there so come back in the next video we will discuss the lab diagnosis of rabies virus bye bye